guys welcome back to my channel today you can see from the title we're doing current beauty obsessions my current favorites in the realm of beauty and I have a random house product as well that I'm gonna throw in there just because I'm obsessed with it so this current obsessions let's get right into it I will start with skin I will go on to makeup and then I will do hair teeth hair and then random products I'll put timestamps below so you can jump ahead if you want. So we're going to start with skin. So my current favorite skincare products that I've been using. First, I'm going to talk about the Mask Vivant by Biologique Recherche. This is one of my favorite skincare products, favorite skincare companies of all time. This product was on back order for me. I don't know if that's like making the product like feel more exciting than it actually is or feel better than it actually is, but no, it's actually amazing this product is a mask that smells like cheese the first time you smell it you might throw up I love that they use like they do not sugarcoat anything they put the best ingredients in their products they do not try to cover up the fragrance or make it marketable in any way it's literally just the best most potent ingredients and this mask is amazing this mask is um, composed of mostly yeast basically in any case that you are having a bad skin day your skin feels like it needs something extra your skin feels like it has texture you're breaking out any sort of skin issue that you may have you use this mask and it solves your problem it is so amazing it's called a rebalancing face mask it's really it retexturizes it hydrates it um, detoxifies it clarifies I don't understand it but it's so good you put it on for 10 to 20 minutes and you just put like a real thin layer I think this was $70 for 3.4 ounces so it's not horrible oh girl it's so good and I am obsessed with the smell now at first I was like what is this but like think of when you're if you if you think of like sourdough bread or like sourdough like that's kind of what it smells like it's like a sour yeast kind of smell yummy yes mask vivant it's super famous back ordered for like literally it took me four months to get it next product is skin medica skin defense oh my lovely goodness it's skin medica essential defense this product is bay again no fragrance very clean this product is SPF 47 I don't know where they came up with that number SPF 47 um, broad spectrum everyday clear oily and combination skin oh my god it is it feels like you're getting it feels emollient it feels like you're getting good moisture to your skin like you can use this literally by itself in the morning I just cleanse and put this on top without using a moisturizer sometimes and you feel like you're getting good nutrients to your skin it sinks in immediately it just leaves your skin looking healthier it doesn't leave you greasy or dry it doesn't dry matte it just leaves you as if it was never there it feels like it leaves your skin just more hydrated more moisturized and I love that it's broad spectrum for SPF 47 and it leaves zero white cast so it's good for any skin tone it's so good next product um this is by Cosmetic Immunity. I, I think that's the name of the brand. This is their Beta Glucan Recovery Serum. I love the packaging. Um, it's so hydrating. It's so thin when you put it on. It's just like <clears throat> your skin like immediately sucks it up. Looks plumper. Looks fresher. Feels. You can feel the texture change when you use this. So I really love this. Um, I love how pure it is. The ingredients are really pure. I think there's like 10 to 15 ingredients. It says it's 97% pure and potent beta glucan. I don't 100% know. I don't remember if it is 100% 97. Anyways, it's very good. Beta glucan is a um, ingredient that we use in the professional side, more so on the commercial side. So it's not commercial. You don't see it in a lot of products commercially advertised. It's not like a current like marketable ingredient like hyaluronic acid, but it's effective like hyaluronic acid it's very good for repairing the barrier repairing the barrier and 
just giving your skin like a very healthy feel. Next product. This is no secret um, that I've been loving this because I'm very vocal about it. This is the Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser. Whoo! Sis, this cleanser is insane. It's the best cleanser of all time. It smells like strawberries, but it's natural. It smells like you're in a strawberry field. I left it on the other day for a mask too. You can leave this as a mask and it's an enzymatic exfoliation. So what I did was um, I took my makeup off with the drunk elephant and then I um, went in to cleanse my skin with this and then I just left it on my skin and got in the shower and left it on for probably like five minutes or so. Rinsed my skin. My skin was smooth, bright, plump. This cleanser, it does everything. I literally want to marry this cleanser. It's so good. I love that it's glass. It's $34, like <laughs> jackpot. Next product, Glossier Invisible Shield. Love this product. I carry it with me everywhere because it's tiny. It's only one ounce. And um, this only thing about it is I feel like I'm constantly running out of it because it's so tiny. But it is very good. It's completely sheer. It leaves you like a little bit matte as if like it absorbs some oils on your skin. Some people may like that. I have no preference really. I kind of like a little bit of a dewier look. But this product is amazing. It's SPF 35 because you can just put it on top of your skin and it's completely invisible, completely sheer, doesn't leave any sort of residue, doesn't moisturize, it doesn't do anything else except for protect you from the sun. It's its only job, it's specific, and it's good at its specific job. That's why I like it. Okay. Next product is a product I can't talk about because I developed it. It is the shit, though. I have to give you a little preview of this because it's literally so effing good. It's a moisturizer, and I am obsessed with this moisturizer. So I'm going to put some on my hand so you can see it. It is so rich. Um, this is awkward. It's so rich. Like, it doesn't move. It's almost 100% hyaluronic acid. It's aloe and then hyaluronic acid. It's botanical hyaluronic acid. It is so good. It also has 92 minerals in it from the ocean. It is the best moisturizer to use every day. The second you put it on, you feel your texture soften. Everything plumpens up. Is that a word? But like you, it's so thick, but it absorbs right into your skin. I don't understand it. So this is what it looks like. And I use it morning and night because it's so rich. You can use it, but it's, it's so rich, but and nutrient dense, not non-fragrant. Obviously it's mostly organic. It's very clean, but it just leaves you it's like taking a multivitamin that's how i feel about it it's like taking a multivitamin because it gives you all the essential nutrients and then above and beyond the nutrients that you actually need and then it also is so hydrating the number one thing you need to worry about with skin at any age is hydration and hyaluronic acid is the king for that and this product is to die for i am so proud of it and i'm so excited to launch it when it finally effing launches i don't know when i'll keep you guys posted okay so i've been using this day night i'm obsessed now these are tan this is a tanning product but i am so impressed with this product so i got the water which is good in theory but it leaves you like a little patchy because you can't really see where you're spreading it but this girl this, these are the tanning drops by Tanologist, and this is a serum, and you add a couple drops into your moisturizer. So I've been taking this moisturizer at night, like every, I, I've done it twice now, two nights in a row, I think, and um, I just add two drops of this to my moisturizer, and it's flawless. It's literally flawless. I even exfoliated last night and did not apply this. And it's not patchy, it's nothing, it's literally flawless. And so you can actually add these tanning drops to your body moisturizer as well. So I did that the other day. And I feel like it did even out like a lot of the patchiness from this. In general, I like the idea of these products and I think I'll try, maybe I'll try the mousse too. Maybe that'll give a more even spread. But anyways, these tanning drops, 
highly 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 recommend so innovative it actually is packed with a lot of good ingredients in here it has vitamin e aloe l ascorbic acid um grapefruit but it has a little bit of fragrance in it but it doesn't really bother me because i'm not using it every single night i'm just using it oh shit i got some on my nose i hope my nose is from brown okay anyways love it love the packaging love everything about it it's so good okay we're gonna move on to makeup now first product is this which i mentioned in a tutorial i just did we'll see if it gets uploaded um this is the dominique cosmetics lip gloss this is their lemonade lip gloss it's like a it's a very sheer i'm wearing it now it's a very sheer it's the perfect color pink it's literally the perfect color pink that's why i'm talking about it it's very hard for me to find like the perfect color and this is the perfect color pink it's so sheer it's not what it looks like in the tube love the packaging love the smell it smells like it smells like the what the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks were supposed to smell like oh you know what it smells like it smells like those lip smackers like the vanilla cake one it was like a gloss a vanilla cake gloss literally it smells like this it smells so effing good it goes on perfectly non-sticky completely sheer loves it dominique cosmetics this is no secret that i'm obsessed with the neutrogena hydra boost hydrating tint it's so good i can't say enough good things about it it leaves your skin completely flawless it lasts all day it looks like your skin you can see freckles through it you can see a little bit of pigment through it i like that i don't want to look like a fucking mannequin i like seeing my natural skin through my foundation and this is the shit this is the second color i bought because it's like a little bit darker than this one i'm wearing it now so it blends in well with my tan love it okay next product this is brand new but i'm shook i'm so shook by this highlighter i'm also wearing this now this is the steve laurent jelly highlighter this product is insane it's actually wet i don't get it it's like a pressed powder but it's wet Whew. it's literally it's literally wet it feels like those color, cover effects drops so that's what it looks like i like i said i'm wearing it now on my cheek and my lips and um i'm just so impressed the packaging's cute it's like a rose gold packaging this is in the color cotton candy this is like a rose gold color and um i just pop it on my upper lip like so like it just gives you the prettiest highlight and it's so natural i don't understand i want to fucking eat this it's so good um so yeah i love this this came in my boxy charm box and i used it once and i was like oh my god this highlighter is better than any highlighter that i've i want to say i've ever used so this is amazing next product i've been loving is glossier boy brow glossier makes a brow product called boy brow this is what it looks like um uh it's something about it like i like it better than the gimme brow i think it's the pigment of the formula it the pigment of the formula it makes your brows look thicker because the pigment it's so pigmented and so it really fills your brows in nicely but then it also must have fibers or something in it to make them thicker it's so easy to work with it's so small and and just i like the packaging how simple it is and i don't know i just love this product it was really affordable i think it was 12 dollars or something maybe 15 but the gimme brow is like 24 i think um, you might get more product in that other one, but these last forever anyways, so I'm not really concerned about a millimeter or two, a milliliter or two of product. Next product is Bobbi Brown Lip Gloss in Nougat. So I was on the quest to find the most perfect lip gloss because after the Jaclyn Hill fiasco and the Jeffrey Hill fiasco, and I couldn't find a lip gloss after spending $100 on lip gloss products. I was like, oh, I need a lip gloss product right now. 
so I drove straight to the mall and I tried on every lip gloss that was available and I found Bobbi Brown makes one of the best lip glosses on the market. This is so, the color is so neutral, but it's like, it's like the perfect beigey pink and it's so thick. Like you see how, th why is this awkward? You see how thick this is? Do you see how thick it is? No, just kidding. Um, it's so thick it doesn't move. It's completely reflective, completely beautiful. It's my new favorite lip gloss, literally, ever, um, until I got this, this Dominique Cosmetic one. But they're two completely different colors. Like, the Dominique Cosmetic is, like, more of a pinky color, and this is more of a nude color. But they're both good for, like, every day, but you see the difference. Um, they're both sheer. This one, um, I do notice this one is like, since it's thicker, it fills in like the cracks in your lips, which is nice. Makes your lips look very reflective, like a mirror. Okay. Next product, Charlotte Tilbury. Loving this bra, loving this blush, loving this blush. I can't say enough good things about this blush. This blush is so amazing. It's like, it goes on flawlessly like this is the color and when you see it in the pan you're like that's not going to be a good color for me i need something a little bit more terracotta more more warm more spicy and more pigmented no this actually is the perfect amount of pigment i don't know what they did in this blush but this blush is so amazing like it goes on flawlessly like I've never had a blush go on so user-friendly and like I need user-friendly like this goes on and I don't have to worry about being patchy I don't have to worry about it being uneven or looking you know sometimes blush can look like a paint splatter on your face like no this looks airbrushed flawless goes on flawlessly I like that you can build it too you put a little on you put a little more on you put a little more on and it builds and it builds and it builds and it never looks like it's too much like I I just I don't understand I don't understand but this is what happens when you pay $40 for a blush this is what you get last makeup product is the butter bronzer by physicians formula now I know this product has been all over social media has been all over social media for a while now but I've never tried it I do like the physician formula bronzers I usually use the mosaic one this is so old at this point so I got this one because you know I wanted to see how it was and I love it it's the perfect color I love the smell of it I get it now why people are obsessed with this the smell is amazing it goes on flawlessly it makes you look tan it doesn't make you look too orange it's like the perfect neutral not too orange not too cool toned like perfect bronzy color it spreads really evenly I'm not wearing it now but it spreads really evenly it smells amazing I just I just love it. I feel like really confident with it. It's almost it's almost comparable to the Bobbi Brown bronzer I'm obsessed with, which is the um, I forget what it's called now, but it's one of their Bobbi. It's one of their bronzers. It's very good. But I like matte bronzers that spread evenly and then are a nice neutral tone with like a red undertone almost. So yeah, love it. This comes in four colors. I think the color I got is Sun Kissed sun kissed it's very good loves it so I'll do hair next um all right the hair product uh, I I'm obsessed with the miracle leave-in so I recently got the miracle leave-in plus keratin and I just am obsessed with it's a 10 this miracle leave-in product in general the keratin one is just as good as the last one I feel like this one does you need less of it in order to achieve a similar result as you do with the original but they're both amazing but this is like it's just so good it's um this video is so long i'm scared um oh it's raining okay um yeah this product's so good it is um i just can't say enough good things about it i love that i just spray it on my hair after i get out of the shower and then i can easily detangle my hair but then it also plumps my hair up like it plumps the cuticle up it also heat protects so it's a um 
multi-use product you don't need this and a volumizer any heat protector it's like all in one even though I do use a volumizer I'm gonna go into that next but this product plus keratin I really have been loving it I'm so impressed with it it smells amazing I've been using this brand called Amika this is a hair product just started pouring outside I don't know if you guys can hear um, this is called plus size it's their perfect body mousse so you just need a little bit of this I just put a little bit of this near my roots and you are good to go you do not need much product and it works so 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 well just enough to give you enough boost and it also gives you like some styling like ability to manipulate the hair at the top a little bit because I have some colics that I like to try to make go a certain way and this product I've been loving this product for that purpose for volumizing and for styling um, I just like the packaging too it's just cute I'm using the shampoo too they make a purple shampoo for blonde hair and I'm obsessed with that should have brought that but it's downstairs I didn't want to go get it but anyways the purple shampoo by Amika is also to dye it smells amazing but it doesn't leave your hair smelling that way which is upsetting because it literally smells so good so my camera overheated and I don't remember where I was but pretty sure I was almost done I was talking about Amika purple shampoo last two products Crest white strips oh my god now I know why everyone loves this because they're so easy yes it was $40 for this thing with 28 14 treatments so it's actually really expensive I mean I have like the um like actual retainers that I can put per, like the stuff from the dentist that are the zoom retainers whatever so I have that it's just maybe I should go get those anyways this is good too but it's kind of expensive now that I think about it um but they're so amazing like I take one with me in the morning on the way to work and because you leave it on for 30 minutes and it's literally like my whole drive I just wear these I love multitasking and I love things that are efficient and effortless and easy and this is that and it's also gentle like these like the stuff from my dentist like zinged my tooth before and that kind of freaked me out so I stopped using it for a while but these are really sensitive like I don't feel my teeth getting sensitive day after day so they're easy to use they're really sensitive for you and they're effective I see like a huge difference so despite being holy crap that's a lot like what five dollars a treatment two dollars I don't know I can't do math right now despite being a little bit pricey because I get a, a two tubes of whitening serum from my dentist for twenty dollars that lasts me like probably six months instead you pay 30 or 40 dollars for 14 treatments i don't know but anyways i'm obsessed with them regardless and last but not least random product is the white barn bath and body works vanilla candle girl Okay, I'm like, vanilla is going to be boring, but it was on sale, and I was like, I've heard good things about this candle, let me just try it. So, I got it, and it is to die for. It is, it's like buttercream. It smells like this lip gloss. It smells like buttercream frosting. It is so effing good. As a matter of fact, um... The colors in here, Madagascar Vanilla, Homemade Marshmallow, and Fresh Steamed Milk. That is the olfactory like experience that you're having when you smell this. And it's so beyond vanilla bean. It's not basic vanilla bean. It's probably the best candle at Bath & Body Works right now for summer. Because I don't really like, like, I do like some floral stuff. But anyways, that's that's that and that's my current beauty and random favorite obsessions for right now so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe guys and i'll see you in the next video i love you so much Mwah. bye